Welcome everyone to E3 Post Show. I'm Willie Guns, as you see it. Not the regular setup again. And um which was explained for why there was no live show. No nothing. But anyway, we're here to talk about E3. And yes, there isn't any other giveaway. And if you didn't answer, you're gonna feel very bad because the cards are ready. And we're gonna give it away in this video, so keep watching. So let's talk before we get to Nintendo show, which was earlier today. We're gonna to talk about Sony's show and Ubisoft show. Ubisoft uh, had a good show. Uh, they show, show a lot of games. They finally revealed Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle or something. Look, graphic wise, it looked nice. Um, you know, it looks like XCOM meets Mario and the Rabbits. Um, no, it got a positive vibe. Um, it looks interesting. Uh, I don't know if it's my type of game, but regardless, it does look interesting. Um, Assassin's Creed, uh, I'm not really an Assassin's Creed fan. No, and to me, I don't know, for some reason, I don't like the look of it. I don't I don't like it. I think it looks a little, I don't know, it just doesn't look as good as the last one. Um, they showed, uh, what was it? Uh, the Crew. The new crew game, you no know, two, and there's some other weird games. They show a lot of weird stuff. Um, of course, dance, it's a dancing game, which you know, I don't care about that stuff. Um, some pirates game, can don't really care about it. But other than that, they show games, which is a good thing. Sony, <laughs> Sony had an interesting conference. Sony showed a lot of stuff for 2018. Not much when it comes to 2017. Uh, you had the DLC for Uncharted, you had the DLC for Horizon, which, you know, both look good, but they're DLC. Um, you know, everything else was like 2018. Um, the Spider-Man game looked like Arkham meets Spider-Man. That looked cool. There are a lot of set pieces, and, and a lot of games they showed looked like a bunch of set pieces. Uh, there was no one, Last of Us 2, which was weird. Um, and then they showed a bunch of VR stuff, which... Look bad. Um, it's probably definitely the worst segment they had. Um, yeah, for some reason, you know, it, it was it was a boring show. Um, and you no, know, they kept cutting to to uh, camera angles they had uh, from the crowd, and the crowd looks like they just it was one of them that just, like, just yawn because it was so boring. Um, no, grade wise, I gave it. A, well, I don't know. I think it was a C or B. It was B minus. Might have been a C plus. I, it was a bad show. Um, no, this year's E3 had been, in many ways, a letdown. It hasn't been a great E3, and Nintendo's up today, and we we're hoping that we're gonna be blown away. And it was under underwhelming as well. Um, it was a good show. It was a good show. They show a lot of games, but. A lot of questions were still left on the table. Not only were wrong, E3 continues on for the next two days, and there are a lot of things that could be answered. But as far as their presentation goes, you know, um, we got confirmation of a few games. We got, um, what's this game called? Um, Rocket League. That was uh, revealed during the very intro of the show. Um, then we also got to see. Finally, finally, we got to finally see Metroid Prime 4 logo. So, no photos of Metroid Prime at all. Uh, Mario looks fantastic. Uh, we got a new Yoshi game coming, a new Kirby game coming, and all the stuff looked good, but nothing blew me away. Um, you know, we got Xenoblade Chronicles. Again, uh, didn't blow me away. Uh, I also not a fan of it. I don't play. I didn't play the first one, or the second one, or any of them. So, not my type of game. Uh, now I got Mario Odyssey. Ah, that looked phenomenal. That was definitely looked great. Um, and then right after the Nintendo thing, they unveiled Metroid: Samus Returns for the 3DS. You know. That looked phenomenal. Um, watching them do the game testing, great. So, you know, overall, Nintendo had a good show. Not a spectacular show. Um, you know, if I had to order the conferences, I don't know. I, I don't know what what order to put them in. I think they all were underwhelming. It's the best way to put it. 
Um, yeah, that's the best way to put it. Underwhelming. Well, well then guys, uh, let me know what you guys thought. And now for the giveaway, right? All right, so here we go. We got we got the cards here with people's names. If you didn't leave a comment and subscribe, sorry, you can't enter this. So here, we got a empty bag. You watch it? You gonna watch this? Empty bag. First up, Anthony Jenkins. You're in. Brandon Simpson. You're in. Anna Lamb. You're in. Angie Wilcox. You're in. I can't even pronounce this one. Exolor... I can't pronounce it. There you go. Lunar Sin. Johan Barrel. Nintendo Game 2. Game Shack. Catherine Gallahi. Megan Ryan. Mr. Skippity Doo. Nemesis 83100. Cynthia Parma, you're in. Gary Shalako, you're in. Jim Haynes, you're in. Simloni. Shin you know, I just realized there was a name missing in this thing. Hold on. I feel real bad I didn't put this name in there. He definitely left a comment. Let's, let's get his name proper. Let's go back to that video. Do, 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 do. Anthony Levi. All right, so everything's in the bag. We are all set. Let's. Who is going to win the NES Classic? Are you ready for this? Can I get a drum roll? <sighs> Angie Wilcox, congratulations. Be sure to private message me and get me your contact information, and you just won. Well, guys, that's all I got for this video. Let me know what you guys thought of E3, and uh, you know, I'll keep posting my reactions. We got Mets recap later tonight. And uh, you will see on Saturday. Make sure you say subscribe because I'm going to be running more contests, more stuff through the, uh, the week, the summer, everything. Everything. Who knows? Bye, people.